Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. This is example 18 of how I organize a digital marketing strategy. This time I'm focusing on Community Bank of Fitzgerald, which has been my bank for years, more than a decade. It's about 0.6 miles from where I'm standing right now. Now, when I organize a digital marketing strategy, I begin with the research phase. This is specifically an unresearched thought exercise. So we didn't go through this, but I still want to paint the picture of how I typically approach it, right? So it begins with the status quo snapshot, which is just establishing where we're starting from. Some of the questions, some of the reports, there's stuff that's not on there that we may do. It's always going to be specifically contextual to the client's unique brand, right? And the idea behind it is I'm putting together a strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, a SWOT chart for this brand each time, right? And so part of that is let's Google them. <laughs> what happens. And so the goal of this strategy would be to build the digital brand, period. They have been treating themselves as an advertiser. They've never created their own media. We would begin that and we would focus on digital media. We would begin with video. We'd have audio and written from day one. And it would just be a new department within the community bank structure. So the customer point of view, I'm focusing on people in Ben Hill County and one surrounding county around that, right? and just lack of local digital media is what we would be solving for. And the plan would be to treat them as a media company. The typical hours of operation, obviously, website, they already have a marketing website and they have a mobile app and you know, so forth. They're just, they're treating themselves solely as an advertiser. They're not creating their own media to go direct to consumer that way. Instead, they're doing, spending all their marketing and ad dollars as far as going through, trying to leverage other people's audiences. However, with the internet coming in, smartphone, etc., now you have the capacity to deal and build their own audience and grow and cultivate that as another brand asset. So the value would be, it's a brand asset for community bank, but the other part is just free contextual digi digital media coverage of the area. They're already a pillar of Fitzgerald. Like they've been that way for decades. So be the media source for content specific to Ben Hill County. So the plan, the way that I would approach it, at least unresearched, you know, off the top of my head would be I'd focus on advertisers and consumers across Ben Hill County and the surrounding Georgia counties. And I would you know, cater specifically to current customers initially, and then beyond that, the larger Fitzgerald market, right? People that live here and are raising their families and you know, so forth. I'd spotlight businesses, the people and community events across the county, and then you can go into the surrounding Georgia counties as well. The I focus on weekly to begin with, but with the size of this business, there's no reason they can't have a daily show. There's absolutely zero reason. The ad budget, I'd start with at least 250 a week in Facebook ads specifically to begin with. Now, the media creation, I didn't worry about how they would approach it because in my mind, if they're going to do it right, they're going to start with like a team of three where, where they also have a manager <clears throat> that are all digital native that they brought in from outside that have been creating videos that they recruited, basically. I didn't cover that, so I'm just going to lay out how I do mine, which I typically start by planning everything on the wall. But when I'm ready to kind of formalize it, I put it into slide deck, which I then use to record the video and I'm going through it on, I'm using Soapbox by Wisty. It's a Chrome app. Google Chrome, and I have the pro version. So I'm able to download a copy of the video from Soapbox by Wistia, and I just use iMovie to edit it. And then from there, I'm publishing it and distributing it, right? And the deliverable is, the concept is, think of it as a feature movie, so to speak, or a TV episode, whatever. But you have that episode, and then you have different components of media that are attached to it almost so that you're able to to make it contextual to the different digital media platforms that you're going to share this media with so you know one minute version that's vertical for instagram an under 10 minute video 
version for the LinkedIn so that you could upload that natively. And then you just go down the line depending on the specific context of the brand, right? So the distribution, Wistia, I put it there, the videos, and so that I can, the ones that are going on to my website, I upload natively to the rest of them. So Facebook brand page, YouTube, LinkedIn, audio. I use anchor.fm. It's free and it pushes it to 10 different podcasting platforms. And then the written and images, you're just putting that on the website. So the basically the cbcfitzgerald.com domain forward slash blog and then slash audio or podcast or however they wanted to you know, categorize it. So the foundation would be the website, the marketing website, because you would want all of the media to have its main home on land that the brand owns, right? And so I put together a demo. They could use their current one, no problem, as far as whatever they're using currently with their marketing website. But I mine is using Essence Pro by StudioPress.com. It's 130 bucks if you never bought anything from them. And it allows me to keep it simple when you're putting together a website so it's not overwhelming. Because all you have to do is start with that home page. Get it right to begin with. And part of that, obviously, is establishing what are the menus and making sure that those pages are also populated, right? And then beyond that, it's the home page widget areas using Essence Pro that you're going to use to put out the initial message on the home page along with the navigation and all. And then beyond that, you're going to start adding digital catalog. You're going to start adding your media archive. And obviously with them, they can they don't have to worry about the digital catalog. Like the demo, I didn't even add WooCommerce because for them, it's really a case of using the web to grow their brand and making the community bank digital brand speak and start to organize its own audience that it keeps in touch with and grows over time as a brand asset. So the media archive, video, audio, and written on the website, that's kind of the other part. There's a screenshot of the demo. If you scroll down, that's another screenshot. So as far as the customer conversation, I'd add live chat and email along with the in-person and phone. As far as campaigns, there's three categories of campaigns for me. Number one is getting attention. Number two is keeping attention. And number three is the administrative relationship between the brand and just all the different search engines and websites and whatever. So an example of the get attention, I'd start with the origin story. Why did the bank go digital? What's the rationale behind it? I mean, at the end of the day, they're just trying to be ahead of the market if they were to do this, but it would really be a case of just having, starting to introduce themselves and do it digitally and, and make promises of this is what we're, we're doing. You know, we're going to be covering all the Fitzgerald football games and basketball games. And, you know, we're we're the bank, but we we are our own media company as well. It, just do it in a supportive manner to where, you know, one thing I would do is probably just keep all the other ads going that they do in all the different local stuff offline, but just add start adding digital to it. So that start to build hopefully some synergy around it. As far as keeping attention, I'd start with an email list and I'd start a cadence of at least once a week. So that people are comfortable with once a week, hey, we're creating all this media, we're covering the area and we're featuring businesses in the area and we're talking about people and families in the area and so forth. And you want to make sure that people have a way to kind of plug into that and to where it, they don't have to worry about it. It's just going to show up in their email. And because that's a pretty intimate conversation at this point, adding access to your text messages as well as to your email is pretty big. So the foundation, I'd start with local citations. Brightlocal.com, their local citation builder service could definitely take care of it. And some are five, some are two, but they make sure that the name, address, and phone number for the brand are universal, and they also populate the different, because each of the different sites are going to accept different media from the brand. So they may take images, they may take videos, they may take a long description and a short description, etc. So that's example 18. It would really just be saying, hey, Community Bank of Fitzgerald isn't just a bank now. It's a media company. So how much would it cost if you wanted to do it yourself? Around $620, 190 a month. Keep in mind, you have to have some kind of hosting for the website. And I didn't include anything. I use liquidweb.com for all of my hosting. But 
and they have a bunch of different options and they're real helpful but the 50 bucks a month and you know so forth that would be for supplemental pieces to the actual website and you would want the brand you always want the brand to have a direct relationship with whoever is providing their hosting because that's pretty pretty important right it's kind of like the foundation of the main campus of community bank it's the it's important the hosting because you want it to be able to load fast you want it to be secure obviously as a bank and you know all right so if you have questions my email my cell phone number leave a message if i don't answer because i'm probably not going to answer if i don't know who you are i always get back as soon as possible if you want to text introduce yourself kind of give me some context as you start the conversation but i look forward to hearing from you and as far as the 19th example will be out oh, the 27th of december that's this thursday otherwise happy holidays